Hello! Welcome to my crazy world of crafting. It seems like I just never stop and I absolutely love it. I have an idea that I want to try, so I'm going to, I'm going to decide to film this in case it works. Because if it works, then I'd have it all captured. <laughs> so, um, I'm, you know, I've never done it. I have just thought of the idea and I'm going to try it. Um, okay, this is a picture that I colored from um, the Secret Garden coloring book from Johanna Passford. And um, I am going to put it, I found this little plate um, on sale at Michael's today for a dollar, one whole dollar. And it's so pretty. It's, it's just a little, a nice little, um, it's called a charger plate. So I'm going to try to see if this works. So what I did is, I don't want to ruin my original drawing. So I just made a copy of it on some um, eight and a half by 11 paper. And I shrunk it down to um, seven inches across. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, you know what, I'm going to cut around it, but I need a little border, so I think what I'm going to do is take my handy dandy, oh, i got to find the middle though, okay, so I need a ruler. I'm going to find the middle of this picture, or at least the base, yeah, I need the middle, the actual middle. So I need to grab a pencil or something, and then let's uh, measure the size. We're going to go from here to here. Okay, so I did this this one's six and a half inches across. It might well that's the way it is. Oh I want it seven inches across. Well let's find the middle first. So it's I would say yeah about six and a half inches wide is about how wide this is. So I'm gonna find the middle six and a half so three and three is six would be three and a quarter right I'm gonna mark it right at the tip of that butterfly just kind of so that I know kind of where it is. Maybe I need a darker one. You know what? I'm gonna do it on the other side. If I can see it, that's the problem. I can, I can kind of see it. So I'm just gonna mark it where I can see it from the bottom. All right, that was a good idea, wasn't it? Oh, I'm always thinking. All right, I'm gonna go from here to here. It's six and a half. So I'm gonna mark it uh, three and a quarter. I'm gonna put the ends like uh, right about there. And I'm gonna mark it, what I say? I marked it, if it's six and a half, I need three and a quarter. So I'm gonna go three and a quarter, three and a quarter. And then I'm gonna draw a line across. I don't wanna go all the way to the ends because what if it goes through? So I just need um, to find the middle. So I really don't need to go that far. Then I'm gonna measure the same way here. Wait, the, this way. And I'm gonna go this to there. So six and a half, the same thing. This would be three and a quarter. I'm gonna move it up a little bit where that other line was. Kind of guide it. I have got a guide. I've got a little guide ruler and this ruler has a little guides in it. What I do is I just kind of eyeball it and when the guide looks straight enough then I figure okay straight enough. Good enough for me. Good enough for government. So now we're going to go like this and I'm going to just kind of make sure it's even and then I basically have got the middle right here. All right so I found the middle. That was easy. All right, now I'm going to make a little border a little wider than that picture. So I figure uh, I don't really want it that much wider because what if it doesn't fit? And I have to cut her again. So I'm going to, oh, look at that. Went all the way to the edge. I hope that's straight. The only reason it makes me not think so is because from here to here, it's not even. But maybe this picture is not even in the middle. I'm going to find out. I'm going to cut around it. I can always print out another one because I scanned it. So. I'm going to um, go around here and I'm just going to cut it. And I got to cut it fairly good. You know it would be cool? I don't have any because mine broke. But I want um, those scallop scissors that they use for um, scrapbooking. And that would give it a really pretty, uh, like a, you know, a little flowery edge. I don't know, there's all kinds of things we can do. Maybe you could even put a doily. Uh, one of those paper doilies, paint it and put it on the bottom of it. That would be a good idea. Yeah, that would be a really good idea. So I'm just going to cut this. Yeah, I should have thought of that doily thing. I don't have any, but if this works, I can frame all my pictures and put them on a wall and make like a little wall because I don't know what to do with them all. So we're going to go like this and yeah, let's cut it. I'm making a really cool book and I'm going to put it up here soon so keep following me make sure you like and subscribe to my videos okay number one it makes me feel good <laughs> that people are actually watching and then number two 
and you're going to be able to see all the things that I come up with because I'm going to post a lot. And then um, you can see that book that I'm doing. So it didn't really come out very good. Then now you see, you saw, you saw the trial here first. I'm just going to guess. Let me just see if it works by putting it here. Will that work? Yeah, I mean, it looks like, yeah, that would work fine. I just got to trim it up here a little bit. Just, I can probably do my eye. Just to get it about the right size all the way around. Just, I'm just going by eye, just like I do when I draw. <laughs> just kind of going to get the basic. I want to see if the stuff works. I, I'll show you the stuff in a minute, how I'm going to, it's not a Mod Podge thing. What this does, this awesome stuff I found, is how I make my jewelry. And I make coasters. I make a, I have little ceramic tiles that I get from Home Depot. And I um, uh, make, I, hold on, we gotta get some Mod Podge. I got, and I make, um, where's my Mod I should have had all this out. Well, I'll edit the video. have any Mod Podge so I'm going to use this. Now let me tell you about this. This here is this really cool stuff I found um, by Deco Art. I'll put a link for it on the bottom and it's uh, called Triple Thick Brilliant Brush On Gloss Glaze. Um, this makes it look like it's actually um, uh, lacquered and it, you can actually use it for coasters. It's waterproof and it's awesome stuff. And I try so many things. You have no idea how much stuff I try. Um, and of all the things, this by far, it's not like a Mod Podge thing. This is thick. Seriously, you could put, make coasters with it. It covers it that thick. Um, so I am going to try and put it on this plate and see how this works. So I've never done it before. So we're gonna try it here right now. So I'm gonna open this up. Here. Oh, and another tip about this that I found out. I put Vaseline on the edge. If I rub, that's why it looks so messy on the edge. Because if I don't, I can't open this bottle like ever again. So, um, and this was about, I don't know, 10 bucks or something. But definitely put the Vaseline on the on the side. That So I saved you money right there. Because if you don't learn nothing else, put the Vaseline on this. <laughs> okay, so let's try this. Um, I don't have any Mod Podge right now. I, I have it, I just can't find it because I'm, I'm redoing my art studio. So anyway, um, I am gonna try it and see how this works. This I'm just gonna put a little bit on here, on the bottom, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna try not to get all the way on the edges. It doesn't really matter, I guess, if I get the edges or not, because I might do the whole plate. I don't know. <laughs> You're seeing it for the first time, just like me. I think that's the best way to make videos, you know? I mean, if it's an epic fail, it's an epic fail, and then I don't have to post it. But if it works, I'll have it on video, right? That's what I thought, fellow crafters, right? We all try things that don't work, and we try things that do, and we wished we would have filmed it. So I've learned, I'm gonna say, you know what? I'm just gonna film them from the beginning. Okay, now I think I'm gonna get a little, I just wanna make sure it's straight, and I really don't want lines in it, so maybe I will do a circle. Because in case you could see it, at least it goes with the shape of the butterfly. All right. So now, let's try it and let's stick this on. So I guess it doesn't really matter which way. So let's put it on here and see how it grabs. Does it grab so you can slide it a little bit? Yeah, you can slide it a little to make it centered. I don't know if it's centered, but I'm just gonna... I My, my main thing is I really wanna see if this buckles up. I mean, it's only a buck to uh, try it and the, for the printer, so this is more of a test piece, so. But if it does work, I want it to look good. Put it in the kids' room or something. All right, not that they don't deserve the real thing, but yeah, you know what? Maybe outline this outside would be fun with some ribbon, you know what I mean? On this outside edge, 
or put it, yeah, that's what I would do. Maybe a, like, you know, some cool decorative ribbon or, I don't know, something. That's what I would do because I could already see that the edges, it'll be hard to get them right because it looks like they're fraying up. So that means that we would have to put this all the way in, all the way out to the sides, okay? And then, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Put it all the way out to the sides and make sure that, that those edges are stuck on there. And I'll find out if this works, but if not, I can always work on it to perfect it. But right now, my main concern is to see if this buckles up or anything like that. It doesn't on my coaster, so I'm hoping it won't on this, but I've never tried it. I'm pressing kind of hard. I just want to um, make sure that the edges don't stick up. But like I say, I think I'm going to put some uh, ribbon on the side and decorate it. You know, they have so much pretty things out there. I don't think I'd use craft paper. I'd rather use a, like a ribbon. But I don't know if you can see that or not. Uh, let me see how that captures it. It kind of does. This is really shiny stuff, and it stays like that. And the more layers you put on, the more thicker it'll get. And it looks like resin. I mean, like thick. Like, it, it looks... Um, I what I what Another thing that I do, um, I don't have it on any of my videos, but I'll make one. I buy a um, chipboard. Get it really cheap. I get it on Amazon. And... Um, I do the same exact thing on a piece of chipboard, only I put paper underneath it. I should make a video of that. I put paper underneath it and, um, you know, and just do the same thing. And it looks like a plaque, you know, like, like an award plaque or something that's really, really shiny, like a plaque, basically. And then I just use my little command hangers and hang them up. And a whole wall like that. I got so much stuff, so I just did all the way in my hallway. I did various sizes so they wouldn't be so boring, except for the originals. Um, my husband wants me to keep the originals and not do anything with them, so I don't know, maybe he, I don't know why, he just wants to keep the originals. So I don't do anything with those, I will make a copy on any of this stuff that I do like this. Coasters and stuff that I give away. I'm just giving them to my daughter, I made her. A set of coasters. I gotta get it in the mail. So now I'm just gonna let that dry. But yeah, it looks like it works. Look at that. It looks like that works. Doesn't have any. Uh, you know what? I, I'm still trying. God, you guys are figuring out all this new stuff I'm learning today. I'm trying to see if I can zoom out with this. It looks like as far as I can zoom. I'm gonna have to raise my camera. This also is a new camera. But uh, if see it, you can see how shiny that is. It looks like a plaque, and it stays like that. You can actually use this as a plate, believe it or not, uh, not to eat on, but for decorations. Like if you want to serve some, um, you know, some good some goodies on there, use it as a little uh, plate. That would be a good idea, you know, a little decorative plate. Um, I would put uh, definitely gotta do the edges with something. But yeah, that's nice and thick. I will probably wind up doing. After I, I'm going to dust this off a little bit. Not dust it, but I might do the whole outside of that after this dries. I think I will. Because I can see if you get a little bit on the edges, you could just clean it up with water maybe before this dries. And then uh, it will look awesome. Wow, that actually came out really good. Okay, so I'm going to clean this up before it uh, dries. But yeah, that totally worked. Look at that. Does that look pretty? Look at that. Ta-da! Voila! Now you know how to hang up your beautiful secret garden pictures. Thank, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. And if you have any suggestions for me or comments or things that you want me to try and do, because I do a lot of stuff, believe me. I'm gonna uh, please watch, watch my tutorials too, where I show you how to how to um, yeah how I color the flowers, how I do the shading um, and things like that which I love to do. So anyways, thank you for watching. Have a great one. Bye-bye.